What is up guys, this is Dope as Shit, bringing you guys another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the RTX 50 Super cards that recently got leaked by Tom from Moore's Law is Dead. Shout out to Tom from Moore's Law is Dead. He's been really, really spot on with a lot of his coverage about um, PC hardware, as well as leaking a lot of stuff. Great sources, great analysis. So make sure you guys check out his channel, subscribe. I've been following him since about 2019 when he was doing his Zen 2 coverage. And that is sort of what made me want to get into the AMD ecosystem, at least with CPUs. But in this one, we're gonna be talking about NVIDIA, what they're doing with their new lineup of, of video cards that's coming out, right? So if you guys don't know, um, the 5080 Super, 5070 Ti Super, and 5070 Super was recently leaked by him and confirmed by other sources as well to be dropping in October. So what are these cards, right? Uh, the 5080 Super and the 5070 Ti Super are both going to be having 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which is more than their previous cards that they're replacing in the lineup, which is the 5080 and 5070 Ti cards that are reaching end of life. So NVIDIA is not going to be manufacturing those cards anymore. They're also going to have increased VRAM um, speeds as well, right? So uh, a decent performance uplift over the cards that they're replacing in the lineup. And then you also have the 5070 Super, the non-Ti, which is going to have 18 gigabytes of VRAM and it's also gonna have increased VRAM um, speeds as well, right? So pretty pretty good um, refresh that we're getting from NVIDIA over their previous cards, right? If you guys know, we're trending towards an era where there's gonna be incre increased VRAM demands from developers, right? So I think that NVIDIA as well as AMD are preparing their lineup of cards now, as well as cards that are coming out in the future that have more VRAM capacity, right? Um, also, if you guys have been following the, the PlayStation 6 leaks as well as the Xbox um, Next Gen, the Magnus leaks, right? Um, those two consoles that are going to be coming out, I think around two years from now, are also going to have increased VRAM capacities as well. So you need to gear up PC gamers to have GPUs that can meet that demand requirement of having more VRAM as well, right? So I think a lot of people between right now and 2027 need to really evaluate the kind of PCs they're going to have going into next gen because there's going to be a lot of demanding titles with next gen. Um, even towards the end of this generation, you're going to see some really, really heavy hitting titles hitting the market, particularly Unreal Engine 5 titles as they move towards um, 5.6 and 5.7 and a lot of developers are making their games on those two versions of the engine, which is a lot more optimized. They're going to be able to streamline a lot of those higher end features that can be pretty taxing on the gpu side and in some cases the cpu side right um another thing i think that nvidia is gearing up to compete against the 9080 xt which you guys can see from moore's law's dead chart he says it right there like it's expect it's it's suspected to compete with an rx 9080 xt and rna4 refresh right so We'll see. We'll see how this um how this plays out heading into next year, right? When people get their hands on these cards and stuff like that. And who who is this for, right? Obviously, it's for people who haven't already upgraded to the 50 series, right? So if if you were a little bit um like on the shelf about should you upgrade, it it really depends, right? Like what's your needs, right? What what's really going to push your PC in the next year or so to make you say, hey, I need to upgrade my PC, right? I always say, look at the current library of games that you're playing, right? Is there anything that really needs more performance, right? Because the only games that's really gonna need more performance out of your PC is gonna be newer games. So I would say, just wait, wait and see. Um, there's a lot of news about next gen architectures, next gen, PC parts heading pretty soon as well. I would say me, I have um, a 5800 X3D and a 3090 in my rig. I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon. There's nothing that's coming out that has me like, wow, like I need to upgrade my PC right away. Nothing that's really pushing it. Even with something like GTA 6 coming out next year, which we don't even know what kind of specs they're targeting with that, that game. I would say, wait, there's no need to, to jump the gun right now. I would say if you're like a, 2070 users outside of a 2080 ti those would be the people that will be more likely to upgrade i don't think 3000 users or even like rx 6000 users right we're talking about ampere and rdna2 cards if you still have those cards hold on to it don't be in the rush to upgrade those cards just yet right because you have to think about the 
the amount of performance uplift that you're going to be able to get, right? Is it is it that massive for you? As well as like, like I said, like current games that you're running as well as games that are coming out pretty soon. Me, I think it's going to be more worth it for me to wait for Zen 6 as well as the 6000 series of RTX cars to be announced as well as RDNA 5 to be announced, right? I think those are going to be two architectures, um, two generations of cars that's going to be very, very um, worth it for me to upgrade my rig as well as Zen 6 as well, right? Like Zen 6 for me is going to be the one that has me say, hey, I'm going to move from AM4 to AM5, right? Um, can I move the AM5 right now? Yeah, like, you know, 9800X3D is, is a really, really good part, right? AM5 is a more mature platform at this point in time with a lot of support for a lot of different um, DDR5 RAM options. And there's a lot of options from motherboards out there, but I'm still going to wait, right? Like, when you when you look at the, the information for Zen 6 right now, they're talking about double-digit IPC gains, higher sustain clocks, improved power efficiency over Zen 5. And I'm like, dude, I'm on Zen 3D. So imagine imagine the performance uplift I'm going to get from going from Zen 3D to Zen 6. Like, that's going to be the one that where it's like, holy shit, not only am I going to get a big uplift from CPU performance, but also from GPU performance, right? So I think it's worth waiting for some people, depending on the kind of rig that you're running right now. Um, but other, other than that, like, these are still really, really good cards that are, that are hitting the market at a really decent time where it's like, yeah, it's going to be the holidays, it's Q4, especially heading into Q, Q1 of, of next year as well. Like, yeah, there's going to be people who say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna upgrade to the 50 Super Series and they'll be set for a good while, right? Especially with the VRAM, like you can't, you can't deny the fact that the VRAM increased as well as how fast the VRAM is very, very appealing, right? And as a, as a 3090 user, having 24 gigabytes of VRAM, you're never really hitting that limitation unless you're doing something outside of gaming, like AI development and running LLMs that can use up that VRAM. You know, there's really nothing, you know, nothing can compete with that, right? So the more VRAM, the better, in my opinion. And another thing I want to say is, look, um, this generation has moved really really fast and i'm talking about this console generation right remember ps5 came out five years ago and it did not it doesn't feel like it came out five years ago right it felt like it just came out yesterday and there hasn't been this like killer ip that's come out yet that's like oh my god i have to get this everybody has to get that like i said the game that i'm looking at to to make me say yeah i'm gonna upgrade my pc is witcher 4 in the cyberpunk sequel those are the only two games that i'm like yeah those are going to be the ones to to be worth upgrading my pc for maybe gta 6 but remember gta is running on their own engine right so the way that they're going to optimize that game for pcs i'm not too worried about it right like i'm not too worried about how they're going to optimize right but witcher 4 cyberpunk sequel yeah you better be ready to upgrade your PC when those two games hit the market because they are going to be pushing UE5. And trust me, they're going to be pushing all those dynamic lighting, Lumen, a Nanite, everything. The I mean, if you watch the Unreal Fest, man, they're, they're going to do some crazy stuff with that. Hopefully the game is optimized, right? Like we hope that we don't have another Cyberpunk 2077 launch situation with either of those games, but you know, I think they learned their lesson, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm a bit more optimistic, but yeah, this is, this is pretty much it for the video. Make sure you guys leave your thoughts. Are you guys going to get these cards? Are you guys going to upgrade and let me know your rig. Like, what are you running in your PC?